Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to automate the login process for your Facebook account with Node.js in under five minutes and about 50 lines of code. So let's start from the beginning. We have right here a simple import of Puppeteer and the file system module because those are the main modules that we are going to use in this project. Now I'm going to import the config.json file, which is a simple JSON file which contains two properties, the username and the password, which I'm not going to show because those are private. Next, we are also going to import the cookies from another JSON file. This file is at the moment as an empty JSON object, but after the first login, this will be populated with the actual cookies. So here is the cookies.json file, if you're curious to see how it looks before the actual run. Moving on, the next thing is to initiate the Puppeteer library with the browser and the empty page variables. Pretty straightforward. Next, I want to do a simple check that is going to make the switch between the first and the other next session runs. So here, if we have an actual session saved, then we do this. And now, before going to the actual Facebook page, we need to initiate the page with the saved cookies, just like this. Await page.setCookies and now the final part for this if statement is to go to the actual Facebook page. In this case, we are already logged in. All right, now onto the actual logging in. We are going to go to the Facebook login page and we are starting to write the username that is specified in the config file and also the password. The next step is to make sure to click on the login button, just like this with await page.click now, because I want a simple and hackish timeout so that we can introduce the actual security codes from the phone, if we have any, I added extra 15 seconds of uh, timeout, so you can add more if you'd like. And now, after everything, I want to make sure that we are logged in, so I'm trying to look for a specific HTML element that matches the query selector. So if that selector is not found, I'm going to exit the process because we are not successfully logged in. Now, after we are fully logged in, I want to get the cookies from the Puppeteer page in a simple variable, just like this. And now basically saving them into the cookies.js file with the fs write file sync method. And for the final part, I'm going to simply add a debugger so that it pauses the execution so that we can see what we did. And that's basically it. We have right here about 55 lines of code, pretty straightforward. Let's give it a try and make sure it works properly. So let's go to the debugger, let's start it up and let's see what is up. Right now it's trying to log in and it's going to ask me for this uh, two-factor authentication, which I'm going to specify right here. And now after introducing the actual code, I'm now logged in, but I'm also going to blur this out because it's a private page. So yeah, for now, let's go back in the code. And as you can see, we are stopped here right into the debugger and we can close this up and we can check this uh, cookies.json file and as you can see we have the cookies right here again i'm not going to show you all the cookies because of security reasons so let's go back in the index let's close this up and now with the actual logic that we have we should be able to run the script again and we should be fully logged in so let's do that starting the debugger again going to Facebook and as you can see I'm directly logged in and we are directly stopped in the debugger without the actual logging in process happening again. So this is basically it. I'm going to close this up. As you can see 55 lines of code and we are done with the Facebook login. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because that would really help me out and also if you got to the end of the video leave a comment and say hi. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.